You and Diz are cool now, right? How how that go down? Uh, yeah, me and Diz are okay in person. Like, I mean, as far as all the extravagant shit that he did online after our battle, I still think that it was pretty childish of him and completely unnecessary. He made him look like a sore loser. I could go on about it. But at the end of the day, uh, we're both battle MCs. We, we both battle top tier competition internationally. And I think there's definitely, like, a mutual level of respect just for the bars and the writing and the preparation that goes into battles. He, he knows he knows the real deal. He knows that I wrote my ass off for that battle with him, wrote all my own bars, and he knows that shit. But it is what it is. The internet will change people, I guess. So. Did you feel like the odds were stacked against you in your last battle? Against Pat Stay, yeah. The, the odds were definitely stacked against me because of the whole uh, quote-unquote Bargate scandal. Which to me, uh, I think I still could have won. I still went into the battle feeling like if I really put on my best performance, I could still take this and I think without my minor slip up in the third round that was actually a very real possibility but uh, at the end of the day it was a great battle I really enjoyed the battle with Pat like I had fun doing it and he's a good dude so like I said if the chain could go to anyone I'm glad it was him and looking forward to watching him and Diz duke it out and uh, yeah I've been in four title matches so I'm good I got two chains you know what I mean I'm good just chilling with those but I'm, I'm, I'm real curious to see who's gonna win this next one see these two boys duke it out so give me the wrap up on this battle how'd it go the, one, the battle with DNA uh, I thought it was a great battle. There was a little disturbance in the crowd near the end of my third round, which happened right before my closing material, so it really fucked up my my, my flow and my trajectory that I had going in my third round. But other than that, it was a cool battle. You know what I mean? I enjoyed doing it. I think DNA is one of the best doing it. It was uh, really an honor to battle to do it. You know what I mean? I had a good time. I, I, I thought I brought some good bars, too. And um, I said brought there, by the way, just so people don't confuse and think I said bot, because I know people are crazy in internet land. And uh, that's what it is. Man, shout out to DNA. It was a fun battle. So that's a really interesting line to walk, being an attorney and being a battle rapper. Does it ever concern? Like my parents, they used to be worried about like ever smoking pot because yeah. they thought they could like lose their life. Do you worry about people in your? Do you worry about people seeing your battles? Yeah, but I don't. I don't do anything illegal, so it's okay. So it's all art. Like if you said, like you know. Um, I don't know. I respect the terms of my license. Yeah. yeah. Is there any overlap in courtroom dynamics and battle dynamics? No. Really? I'm surprised to hear that, actually. So, <laughs> is there anything about being a lawyer that gives you any kind of insight or edge into being a battle? Um, I think the same attributes that make me a good lawyer also make me good at doing this. Sure. There's definitely some overlap in terms of skill sets, yeah. A lot of lawyers are great writers. Some yeah. lawyers are good writers. <laughs> so how do you feel about this battle coming up? Anything you can say about it? Any way that it's different than past yeah. battle? It's not happening. So shout out to Remedy for being a little pussy-ass bitch. It's not happening. Eat a dick. BGL. Shit.